Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I recently went to Dollar Tree and I was really excited because their shelves were really stocked up nice. There was a few areas that didn't have too much, but it really was an improvement from a couple of months ago where there was hardly anything in the store. So let's get started. I've been learning how to loom and so I don't want to buy real expensive yarn when I'm first learning how to loom. And this is my loom. I've been buying these little small skeins of yarn because they are the perfect size for making hats. I love these little inexpensive wood products because I use them to put a lot of my cross stitch on and display things on the wall. And I like to don't just have cross stitch in a frame. I like to put it on something because it makes it more interesting. This is just a box with sides and of course the bottom. Now these little boxes you could easily cover in fabric. Of course you can paint them and even cover them in uh, paper if you wanted to, but I prefer fabric and also glue some other little trim on it. Here's another tray that I thought was cool. I love little gift boxes and so you've got this nice size box. It's just a paper box, but again you can cover it in fabric put a nice little uh, maybe fancy jewel or bow on top, cover it inside with some lining, put a nice little gift inside of it. Not only do they have the gift inside, but they also have a nice little storage box. Remember, all of these things I'm showing you went up to a dollar and a quarter, still very affordable. I also, like I said, here's other things I like to put my cross stitch on. So this is a star. And this, this kind of reminds me of a flower or even a cloud if you wanted to paint it sky blue. I love this. If people having, are having a hard time finding your front door, get something like this and say, go this way. And then here's another one that I think I'm going to be incorporating into a little wreath I'm making for 4th of July. Speaking of wreaths, this is an Easter bunny and I thought this was so cute. I bought two of them and I like to make rag wreaths so you could if you wanted to put fabric on it make a rag wreath or you can do it really anything you wanted with it here is a heart shape remember these are all a dollar and a quarter and then here's another little ribbon uh, wreath that you could make all right and then here's an anchor. I think the bunny and this anchor are my favorites. I thought this little Easter basket was so cute. It's made out of fabric. Now I didn't use it this year for anything because I got it a little late for Easter, but I was thinking of next year I could make something like this. So you might see a tutorial in which I take some of this concept, put it into a little Easter basket. Now here is a a uh, container you use for putting plants in it, inexpensive. I'm going to make a little fabric basket to go around it and then put an artificial plant in it, maybe with a bow, and it looks so pretty. I love vases. I mostly love really giant vases. That's what I buy the most. But every now and then there's always a little corner that I think needs a little something. So this is a glass vase. I bought the colored rock, so I'll put the colored rock inside. Maybe put just a one stem with a little one lone flower on it and put a fabric bow and it'll look so cute. These are scarves. Now when I looked at these, I thought, okay, they'll make great little neck scarves, but they will also make great hair bands for the summer. You can do so many things for the hair using this fabric. Now here is a little gift idea for you. This is just a little book that you can write in. There's just empty pages. So if you know someone who likes to do journals, they like to write in a journal, you can buy something like this and then put a cover on it and really make it unique to them. And I do have several tutorials on covering books. Every now and then I find some really pretty ribbons 
at uh, Dollar Tree. Now, this one is probably great for a summer project. The other ones are a little darker, but it's really such a bargain because it's only a dollar and a quarter each. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little shopping experience as much as I did. Now, if you're looking for uh, easy beginner sewing projects, I'm going to have links listed below your YouTube screen. So you scroll down to the description section, click on the down arrow or show more, scroll down a little bit and you'll see all kinds of links listed down there. Now, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl. This is Manny and this is Scotty. See you next time.